a gym but just your daily normal things of taking your trash out doing your laundry doing the dishes making your bed all these things can actually help that people don't do they skip those things they're like oh i'll do it later they wait to do all their trash at once or they make their kids do it even you know like chores it's funny once people have kids they put a lot of the chores on the kids and they say oh we're teaching them uh things but then you stop doing some of the things that were good for you and they wonder why oh, I, I gained so much weight, you know, once I had kids, but a lot of times there's just simple things like doing your own dishes you don't do anymore. You have the kids do it or taking the trash out. And I don't have children, so I do it all myself. I don't also make my husband do it either. A lot of women make their husband do it. Yeah. I don't have children. Yes, uh, I don't know. I was raised um, Christian to to have get married and have kids. You know that was the goal, and um, I actually had an abortion um, because it happened after my mom had died and my brother and I was not in a good space. I was bulimic and alcoholic, and I didn't think that was a good situation for a child. So I made a decision to have an abortion. Now I don't have kids. And I don't want to have kids because I don't think the world is a good place right now to bring kids into the world at this particular moment. And how your family and friends treat you? Well, they shun you for those kinds of things. They don't really like that. But my family, actually, at the time, though, when I got the abortion, they were happy because they didn't think I should have a child because I was not in any state to raise children. So I, I didn't tell them at first because I had to wait. You have to wait, like, four weeks, and I found out right away. But I told them before I did it, and they were like all on board because th at that point. But you know, I, they don't really talk to me now. Now we don't really speak with our family very much because they're very different than us. My sister just had her first baby, and she's older. She's uh, like 37. So yeah, it's just yeah. So my sister had her first kid, but I'm I feel very different about children now. I, I mean, children are adorable. I'm just saying I don't think people should be having kids right now because of the way the world is, and especially the current world since this whole COVID thing. What we're doing is just not a good place for children. I'm very worried for these kids that are experiencing the whole COVID thing right now. Like, it's weird because now we're saying, stay away from people, you know. Oh, there's this deadly virus going around and really putting a lot of hysteria and fear into children. I don't like that because I think this is really over-exaggerated right now. I feel that it's a very political, especially that the Democrats are using this, um, you know, to hope to get Trump out of office. And I am not a Trumper or a Democrat. I don't vote. And I never have voted, even though I was in the Air Force. I don't particularly agree with our whole political system. And I think there's a lot of corruption and fraud in the candidates we have to choose I don't agree with, so I don't vote. Um, and people say, oh, that's not helping. I'm like, actually, it would if people stopped voting. That would help. But that's a whole other story. But I believe that this virus is being exaggerated to the, to the level um, for political reasons, not because of how deadly it is. Because we're seeing that more people are recovering than dying, but we keep hearing how deadly it is. So that would make it very political now instead of um, just a a regular virus that was going around they jumped on and now it's become a political thing that we're acting like we've never seen something like this before and we've actually seen worse viruses and things than this we just didn't take this level of precaution they're saying but it's kind of crazy oh there goes the birds because the neighbors came out see they fear other people whoa that's crazy see they do like you Jedi Ridge he was all worried. Look at what they do when someone else comes out. See, they get very nervous of other people. Jedi Rich was convinced that they were. Well, I'm playing a little music in the morning. That's what we usually do. That's actually what we do. This is actually what we do. Um, we're not um, making. The only thing we're doing different is we're filming the entire thing. The know? lights and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, also, like you normally don't follow me into the trash. I go by myself to the. Trash. Okay. So. So I'm gonna cook breakfast yeah. while you do. I might just do my thing. I'm gonna play a little guitar. I might put this in. Oh. This place it in. would go off. The other place would go off when you do a shower. So I, I put organic thyme. I do all home cooking. So. Um. I do all home cooking, so um, 
And we do this three times a day. I make the same meal. So this is what we do. So this is accurate. Like every day I, I do this. Oh, then I scale it. So what's the strategy? Okay, the strategy so of the cooking is no meat. oil, no oil, no fat. What, what's, um, what's well, it's, it's all organic. We eat organic beef um, and organic uh, garlic and organic kale. And what I mean. this, this is over here. So this is just organic kale and garlic. Nothing is in here except for the kale and collard greens. No seasonings in this. Nothing when I do when I cook it in the water. I just It's just water and the organic kale and, and um, collard greens. And this is what I'm using, almost like a bun. This is now your your bed that you're gonna put your burgers on. It's like your this is this is your little bit of carbs that you get to from the um, greens. So that's your average bowl that I put a little bit in mine. These are our two bowls. Now the cool thing about the greens. So the problem with um, steaming vegetables is you lose a lot of the nutrients in the water. So what I do is I then take this. It's very hot. So I don't use okay, I just use my current towels that I'm using. I grab the sides here um, and I pour this in our, our mug here. This is what we use our mug for. This is our only sort of like hot liquid we would consume would be this vegetable uh, water from the kale and the collard greens. I give that to Jedi Rich and this is his little Star Wars mug. So this is like his, it's going to light up actually uh, when it gets hot. See, it's, it's giving us a message here. Um, this is his version of coffee in the morning. We have this and water. This is vegetable water, just from steaming your vegetables. Of um, not even vegetables, just kale of greens, kale and collard greens, because those are very light on the amount of carbs. You want to keep carbs low to stay lean, like me. So here's our just what does it say? It says it's still coming in. The message is still coming in. But it's gonna say traveling through hyperspace ain't like dusting crops, boy. It's a message from um, Han Solo. Because we got Han Solo and Chewie on the back. So Han Solo's saying traveling through hyperspace ain't like dusting crops, boy. I my dishes right away, especially because I use cast iron. <laughs> they will actually rust you'll clean them right away. Like they start to rust the longer the water sits, even if they're in the sink, like soaking. So I just clean them right away as I'm cooking. No need to have like a big old pile of dishes. We have a dishwasher, but I don't use it because I only use a couple of pans. I just get it clean right away. And we don't have to and you know, you didn't do much in here, so it doesn't require a lot of cleaning. All you did was pop some veggies in there, and then I oops, dry it off right away because it's cast iron, um, and so you can't just let it air dry because um, it'll start to rust. You've got to get it dry, and then I'm going to oil it. So I do this, you know, so all this is um, during while you're cooking. Normally, I'd probably already have my burgers be going while this is going, but since you guys are feeling I'm kind of doing a little bit different. So you can kind of do this at the same time that you're cooking, but um, the, since we yeah, had to film it, it's a little bit different order. But normally I'd kind of be multitasking here probably. Got the burgers going as I'm cleaning. Um, but I oil it. So that was my organic oil. I put it in the pan there. And I, I have to do this every day, otherwise they rust. And this one has a lid. So I'm able to put store it in here without like any problem with bugs because I only oil the inside. So the bugs can't get on, on the inside. In the other pan I store in the microwave because we don't use the microwave. We, um, if we're going to reheat something, we we'll do it in our crock pot. It has, uh, we bake it in there for a minute. But um, microwaving things takes out all the nutritional value or a huge portion of it. <coughs> I mean, not all of it, but a huge portion, so we don't bother with that. Now, I put this away. I also like because I have a small space here. So if you have a small space, that's why I keep things clean out of the way. Otherwise, I'm going to have a pile up of pans, and I don't have enough room for that. So people with huge kitchens might be able to pile up their pans. I can't. So I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to add some organic thyme to the pan um, as it's heating. Okay, up. so a quick question for you. Yeah. Um... Uh, 
Why is it that you use cast iron? I mean, it's, it's not that big fuss. Oh, the reason why I love cast iron is because um, I'm putting my garlic now in the pan that we had cut earlier. The reason why I love cast iron is because you can use uh, the uh, metal to uh, scrape it, like, uh, and it doesn't have those linings. So what happens is you have those linings of all of those other things that you're going to end up getting in your system at some point because they're going to end up coming off whether you use a metal or plastic um, thing. But you don't want to get those lines. You don't want to keep that stuff. It's not good. All those Teflons, all that crap, it's not good for you. Well, so you don't have those linings. But the other cool thing is then you can use, which I'll show you later, your metal thing and really scrape your pan to get actually all of the good food out of it too. Because normally that gets lost and it's stuck to the pan. I put um, a little bit of oil, just just a little, like you don't want a ton. I use the 93% beef with just a tad bit of oil because I used to not do the oil, which I ever said it's just too uh, dry and it, um, we wanted a little more fat. So I'm going to get my beef out of here. So I got my 93 here. This is from Whole Foods. I love this Eel River organic beef, 93.7. Uh, this is what I'm going to use this morning. I do two pounds because we eat. This is what we eat all day long. We do we do three meals of this, so we eat six pounds of beef a day. And it seems like a lot, but um, that's what keeps us lean. So I cut these open. It's nice with these packages. They can make some really nice, easy burgers. I'll show you. take them out a really easy thing to do is just split it in four and they they actually fold nicely they'll fold and split on you pretty good and then I pop them in my pan this is how yeah, it was warming up over here so that they just split and that's just how I do my burgers so then you don't have to make a big fuss about it just fold them And I always keep my place very clean, so I come back over here, clean a little bit, as those are sitting there for a second, clean up my... What happened to your cutting board? Oh, my husband got in that one day. And then he, he, so what, what happened to I don't know, he got mad and like, he hit it on the, on the, the counter and the real guy broke. Like, he got mad and he, he was cooking it. He was mad, so he decided to cook. Because he was mad at me, he said, I'm going to cook. And then he got mad and he banged it on the counter or something. What, what, why, why do people break things when they get mad? Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to get over really, that. You never, I haven't really, really figured that out, but I never do. Of course not. You, you, I love my stuff. I'm like, I ain't breaking shit. <clears throat> but my mom, man, she get mad, she starts throwing dishes. Man, I don't break anything. Cause I'm like one of those, like, I love all my things. I take very good care of my stuff. I'm like, last thing, everything is be break my stuff or anyone else's though. Cause I, so I do 20 minutes, so I set that on the microwave. We only use the microwave for a couple things. We use it for store, the pan, for a timer, and for the fan. I normally have a fan on, but it's close to that. So hopefully we don't set off a fire alarm. I got the door open. Oh, good. Yeah. So I use um, organic rosemary and organic ginger here. Yeah, but when the door is open, you don't actually need a fan. Cool. So I put, um... Wait, can you hold that? So, yeah. So go show the actual sprigs. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. So they're, they're, they're yeah. actually beautiful. They're actually very gorgeous. And actually, r rosemary is very cool because all you do is if you hold it, like, with the things like this, you can just pull it off like this. So very easy. See, it pulls off of the stock. Super easy. So you just pull it from here go, Doop. you know what I mean? That's how you get it off there. Super easy. I just sprinkle it on all of the burgers. I usually use about one stock, sometimes less if I'm running out of rosemary. I have a lot today and I'm making a video, I'll make it nice. Um, then I use my little paring knife here. This is some organic ginger that I scrape some, some little sheets of it onto my burgers. I like making organic ginger rosemary burgers here, I'll show you. So I, 
try to get it on, you know, all of them. You want to try and get the things on each burger so that you got the flavor. And, and people be like, you know, see things like, oh, you don't wash your hands enough, or this and that and the other. This is just for me and my husband. So I, this is what I do, and we stay healthy. We live in the cave, so I wash my hands as often as I want. Oh, wait, for what? cleaning. Yeah. What we live, was that? We lived in a cave. Oh, let me just show. I also do organic thyme. Let me show this real quick here before. Organic thyme, sprinkle it on there, and organic black pepper. Whenever you do go into the cave story, make sure you say that before we were even dating, you said, listen to this song yeah, by Justin, Justin Bieber. Bieber. And like, I wasn't even a big Justin Bieber fan, and neither was Jerry's, and he thought it was ridiculous I was sending him a Justin Bieber song. And then and it literally says that we were homeless, that we're this and that and the other, you know. And so we went through all that together. And I said, I sent it, the, the, the reason why I, back I said, oh, I love this song, this is our song. And Jerry was just like, why would that be our song back in the day when I asked that? He's like, it sounds like a super depressing song. I said, the last thing I don't want to be is homeless right now. Yeah, but we ended up living in the cave for three and a half months here in Las Vegas, just on the outskirts, Enterprise. Okay, I'm going to flip these babies. You want to wait. Can I have a bowl of soup? Mm -hmm. What are we doing today? We got to go get our passport photos. So, because we're moving to Panama. And we had passports, but they were stolen from the cave and from our car. We had a Jaguar. We had a 2009 Jaguar XF premium. We loved it. But when we went to the cave, uh, it broke down because we were going to leave. That's how The Mandalay Bay event had happened here. The shooting, that huge tragedy here in Las Vegas. So we were like, we wanted to move. So we packed up what we wanted to keep in our car and we started driving. But we, had, we stopped at this place that Jerry had met this fella that it was like this cave. And we just wanted to like, he wanted to show it to me. And then the car broke down there. So uh, we ended up living in the cave. Us, but then during that time, it got stolen within a couple of days of being there. And inside our car was all of our personal documents because we were moving even the title to the car. Because it was literally, I had a binder that had like, it was literally a binder with all of our birth certificates, our passports, our checking account information, all like, you have your checkbooks, like everything, all licenses, like all kinds of personal data, the title of the car. So they stole our, of course, all the money out of our bank account and everything, you know. Yeah, so I'm actually, I'm actually going to tell you about you have, oh. I would normally go to the studio, but today we are doing what? We're going to get our passport photos. Right. Because we have to get new passports. And so I want to be nice and showered for the passport photo. Yeah, so he got to take it back. What time is it right now? What time is it? Right, so it's almost 7 a.m. So you can see I've basically been getting ready. I mean, this is what we do every day. Oh, it feels so good. First time I do that, I have to get something to eat. So if you're short on time, you know, what, what you can do is you can have your breakfast in the tub. And you still get your, your bath in. You just kind of stick, soak. It, but if you sit back up, you're going to be cut off again. Yeah. So are you laying down or sitting? Pull the camera back. Pulling that guy's still going? Okay, good. See, it takes two to make these, man. Okay, so this is another thing, a tool that I use. It's like an acupuncture tool. Basically, I'm, I'm scraping my bones. 
I'm scraping my bones of all the stuff that Jedi Joy was talking about that's in her chest. I don't know what that crap is, but as you get off sugar, you start to cough up a lot of mucus. And you get these little, you can feel them, these little pockets on your bones and in your fat cells, and you can squeeze them. And you pop them in, and it'll make you fart sometimes, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it makes you fart because because inside your body it's a closed system, so it must be when you, when you pop these things, it must release some sort of uh, gas of some sort. And it makes, huh? Toxins. Toxins, yeah, they're toxins. So when you hear people talk about that they want to like cleanse their body, Back in the day, you ever hear that? And they want to cleanse their body of toxins. It's what it is. Is Jack Joe was talking about the sugar addiction? But okay, great. You're addicted to sugar. Did, but why? <laughs> why are you addicted to sugar? That was a question. And the answer is because there's a fungus that grows inside of you, and it makes you crave it more. And it's a living organism that lives inside of you, just like in that movie Alien. I don't know if any of you have ever seen that. It lives and grows inside of you. So, and it's an organism. So, it's a fungus. And it's not necessarily a bad one. Or, I mean, you know, in, in proper doses, it's, it's like a, it's very, very symbiotic. It helps us. Um, but in overgrowth, where it's taken over, well, look at the, I mean, it makes you really fat, basically, is what I'm going to say. I know you're not supposed to say that, but personally, I don't want to be fat. So, if I get fat, I say, tell me. Tell me if I look fat, please. I don't want to be one of these people where you're going to like just not tell me I look great. You know what I mean? I don't know what this thing is. Do we have this thing? Why can't you call people fat anymore? That's a big contention for us. Because what has happened is that now you've basically given a pathway for people to go be through, unhealthy. be unhealthy, and to eat unhealthy, and to, and to, and to be overweight. They talk about COVID being a big danger and killing a lot of people. The number one death today, right now, look it up. The most people that died, died from obesity, heart disease, heart disease. When they say heart disease, what they mean usually is that the person was fat because they, that's what heart disease is. It's just like you're, you're, you've strained your heart so much because, not because you've exercised a lot, but because you haven't exercised a lot and you put on a lot of weight. So just getting out of bed is, is, is like a huge burden on your heart. And you do that for several years, basically your heart get, you know, they call it heart disease, but I'm sure there's lots of more specific things they've got for them for each different condition. But at the end of the day, it can all be alleviated by not eating sugar. I can use the restroom because he takes long baths too. So that's just very common. And just got to get used to that. People aren't always used to that of sharing bathrooms these days because people have these huge houses. We have a very small place. Do you want to see where we need to go for those? Where do we get those photos at? Walgreens? Walgreens, yeah. We, I already know where we're going. We're going to the Walgreens up by the Walmart. Oh, cool. And the bus up there. Cool. Yeah, so that'll be interesting because most people don't. I'm showing them what I do every morning. Oh, okay. Showing how you fucking take a bath, how you stretch. I know, I'm getting out. I, no, I'm saying you don't have to get out. Jim. I know, I know, but hold on. We're going to charge these. I got work to do in the office for about at least an hour. 
It takes 45 minutes to get a full charge. But I'm saying, I think you're like, no one wants to watch an hour no, of your Exactly, but you don't understand. Okay, let me explain how it works. There's something called time lapse photography, there's also editing. Oh, I know, they don't want that. Okay, let me just do my thing. That's fine. I've already got ninety percent of it. Why can't I just finish the last ten percent? Why you got? Why are you so I'm upset? You're, you're almost I know, and I'm almost done here. If you'd let me finish before this kills, please don't stop anything. I don't know why. Why you're doing that? I'm editing. I'm trying, I'm trying to help you with editing. Okay, then bring this thing up and then fucking bring it so it's so it's high so they can see me shower. If you want to help me? Okay. Because I, I'm just that's the way a day in the life goes. You record the whole fucking thing and then you edit like ten seconds. Four hours of footage results in four seconds of footage. Okay? The way I tell that I'm channeling and you're not, because when you start coming in to say no and shut things down... I was coming in to direct... That's all you wanted to do is turn the cameras off. That's not directing. That's not... And then she walks away. She, she dumps a bunch of shit, and she don't care. She, then she just walks away. I'm fucking doing a fucking video. I got, like, 30 seconds left on the fucking audio. <laughs> And voila, there you go. That's how we take a shower in the morning. Okay, so hey, it's uh it's about 9.15 a.m. Saturday, July 25th. And actually it's 0900 hour 25 minutes. So since Jedi Joy and I are fighting. You know, and she's right. I do criticize her all the time, and I'm always telling her, you know, I'm always directing her and, like, saying, hey, say this instead and say this this way. Or, hey, can you sing it like this? And and, and saying, hey, that's off key. And can you sing differently? That doesn't sound, or, you know, man, like, could you angle that? I'm always criticizing. I'm always telling her what to do. That was it. Now I feel much better. Um, as, as we mentioned, Jedi, Jedi Joy mentioned, we're leaving. We'll be doing a lot more of this sort of thing in Panama. So that's why I'm kind of practicing the gear out right now. So it kind of worked out. The day in the life and our trip to Panama. There's the bus. Maybe Jedi Joy is coming back here. Let's see if I see. Oh, yeah, there she is. Good. Damn. Okay, I, I just went to Walmart and it's I took the bus. It is really hot. Whew. And I got uh, 12 pounds of organic beef. Now right now they're kind of like strict on the how much you can get so I have to go in there really fast. And I was gonna get a thing of Topo Chicas. Get this you guys. I was gonna get a 12 pack. Yeah. But it wouldn't scan. The thing was like all my stuff and the box was they had to tape it because obviously it yeah. was someone else. Because the other day I dropped a, a 12 pack bottle of the glass bottles dope but you go at Walmart and they said oh, I'll just get another pack well this time it was taped all up so I felt like oh someone else must have dropped the thing because the box is broken again mm -hmm. but then since they taped it they covered the scanner I couldn't scan it and I was like oh man they're gonna come see all my beef I got I gotta just just uh what do you say oh, what do you say uh Get your, phone, abandon, get, your iPhone, get your phone out. Abandon that mission. Hold on. Earlier is if we went, you when the you need one phone for the um, microphone. You can't be charging it when you're using the microphone. Mm. While I was trying to cut your bath bug short was because we needed to make sure one phone could be for the microphone, and you oh, were draining smart. them both. Smart. That's what I was saying. What do you got going on here? Oh, we got our lunch. I just made um, organic beef burgers. Uh, the same meal as in the morning, and then I put um, like organic cinnamon and thyme and rosemary, black pepper, everything organic. 
Okay, he's just here doing a little chores with his music. I'm always doing little chores. All right, let's eat. Because reality is still here is like you could put out, look at our, look at our channel, a thousand subscribers, forty seven views would be a really good would be a really good number for us. I don't know if they're too long, too short, or what. I think people have an attitude against us. We're very um, prejudiced against because... Why do you think that people are bigoted against us here in Las Vegas, in Nevada? Well, we do a controversial job, but it should be acceptable here in Vegas. But a lot of people don't even know that we do that job. They just little, they still shut us. Um, I would say most of people that shut us do know. Okay. Because especially the ones you're talking so about. So you think it's primarily because you're a female sex worker that they won't... Um, Kind of, in a sense of they're not going to give us any respect. At first, when I just was going to be a female sex worker, that was fine. And they'll support that. But as soon as I try to do something different, like make a song for the Raiders Stadium, then that wasn't allowed. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's fine when I was in my little uh, playground, but as soon as I came into theirs, oh no. There are people that don't like to be in person that prefer social media um, because they can hide behind their computer. We are people that like social media, right. but we are all about being in person, too. Right. But I'm gonna get myself some money. Oh, that sounds delicious. Mm -hmm. It's a great meal. Out of the way. So here's our studio. This is where the magic happens. We, we set up this whole green room. I'm a little bit sad and we get choked up because we're about to move. So I don't know the next time we're gonna have a studio like this because Panama is gonna be very different. We'll, and and right away we won't have an apartment. So right away we'll be in um, hotels, so we won't be able to set it up for a minute. But uh, hopefully we'll get an apartment soon enough so that we can. Um, set this back up but we won't even have Email all of our stuff we're gonna bring probably one of these green screens so that worst case we could like na nail it to the wall just a green screen if we needed it so I think I'll just bring one of these sheets uh, we're gonna try and bring some lights but I don't know much because we're flying but we're definitely bringing all this gear Yoda's coming yes okay. We, uh, all the foam things will go into storage. Yeah. These are actually very expensive. Funny they're enough. very expensive. They're, so we actually have to keep them. They're just foam, but they're like thirty dollars for like six of them or something. And we did like the, a lot. Yeah. But, so you don't throw them away. Yeah. So we're gonna. Those will go in storage. Those are easy. You just I moved them before. You put them in trash bags. So here's the green room. Um, the studio. The microphones over here. That's where we did all the singing. I don't dance now, I make money moves. I don't gotta dance, I make money moves. If I see you and I don't speak, that means I don't fuck with you. I'm a boss, you a worker, bitch. I make bloody moves. Now she say, see, gon' do what or who? Let's find out and see. Cardi B, you know where I'm at. You know where I be. You in the club, just to party. I'm there, I get paid a fee. I be in and out, them big so much, I know they're tired of me. Honestly, don't give a fuck about who ain't fond of me. Drop two mixtapes, and so much what bitches working as hard as me. I don't bother with these hoes, don't let these hoes bother me. They say pictures, they say goals, bitch, I'm who they trying to be. Look, I'ma just tilt your babe, I'ma just tilt your boot, I'ma just feel on your bed, my pussy feel out like a leg. He wanna swim on his vest, I'm like, okay. I let him get what I want, he bought me a silver and a new whip. When I go as fast as a horse, I got the junk in the trunk. I'm the hot in the front. I'm the hottest in the street. No, you probably heard of me. Got a bag and fix my teeth. Hope you hoes know it ain't cheap. And I pay my mama bills. I ain't got no time to chill. Think these hoes be mad at me. The baby father wanna feel silly little bitch. Can't fuck with me if you wanted to. These expensive, these is red bottoms, these is bloody shoes. Hit the store, I can get them both. I don't wanna choose, and I'm quick. Cut a jet off, so don't get comfortable. Look, I don't dance now, I make money moves. Say, I don't gotta dance, I make money moves. If I see you and I don't speak, that means I don't fuck with you. I'm a boss, you a worker, bitch. I make bloody moves. You a pussy, you get pop. You a groupie, you a op. Don't you come around my way.
play. You can't hang around my block. I just check my counters. So I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich. I put my hand up on my hip. I bet you dip, I dip, she dip. I say, I get the money and go. This shit is hot like a stove. My pussy get her as gold. Don't go play that. Go to that bitch play her roles. I just drove up in the rolls. I just came up in the red. You need to fill up the safe. I need to fill up the... I need to let all these hoes know that none of the Jedi is safe. I go dinner and steak. Only the real can relate. I used to live in the peace. Now in the cribs. We always got charms. I like for Sir Blake. Had to let these bitches Ooh. know. Just in case these hoes forgot. Yeah. I just run and check the mail. Another check for Mona Scott's a little bitch. You can't fuck with me if you want yeah. to. These expensive. These is red bottles. These is bloody shoes. Hit the store. I can get them both. I don't want to choose. Yeah. But I'm quick. Got a jet off to be comfortable. Look, I don't dance now. I make money moves. Say, hey, I don't gotta dance. I make money moves. If I see you and I don't speak, that means I don't fuck you. I'm a boss. You a worker, bitch. I make bloody moves. Woo! Jerry, check out CS. That was fun, man. That's all right. Where are we going? Oh, yeah. Where are you, where are you going? Love me or hate me is still an obsession. Love me or hate me, that is the question. If you love me, then thank you. If you hate me, then fuck you. I diet, no, in fact, I'm just too light. And I ain't got the biggest bestesses, but I write all the bestesses. I got hairy armpits, but I don't walk around like this. I wear a big baggy t shirt that has a nasty shit. Uh, never had my nails done. Bite them down until they're numb. I'm the one with an existing bum now. I don't really give a I'm missing my clippers high like a high maintenance chick missing the diamonds I'm missing my clippers and I rock, bow down to your royal highness no I don't own a corgi had a hamster die cause I ignored it go on then go on report me I'm American try and deport me love me or hate me it's still an obsession love me or hate me that is the question if you love me then thank you if you hate me then fuck you love me or hate me it's still an obsession love me or hate me that is the question if you love me then thank you if you hate me then fuck you I'm that funky little old monkey with the tiniest ears I don't like drinking fancy shampoo I'll stick with Heineken beers Oops, what my burp in your face A little unladylike, what can I say well, Oh gosh, I'm not posh me, I wear odd socks I do what I'm doing, yeah So everybody's entitled to opinions Out my mouth, shit, I got millions I'm the middle kid, the riddle kid I make you jiggle when you, my nose jiggles when you spit But no, I do have some stories I, I want all the glory. Go on then, go and report me. I'm American, trying to put. I've created a monster because nobody wants to see Martian no more. They want Shady. I'm chopped liver. Well, if you want Shady, this is what I'll give you. A little bit of weed mixed with some hot liquor. Some vodka that'll jump out your heart quicker than a shock. When I get shocked at the hospital when a doctor, when I'm not cooperating, when a rock in the table while he's operating. Well, you wait this long to stop debating because I'm back on the rag and ovulating. I know that you got a job, Miss Cheney, but your husband's heart's problem's complicated. So the FCC won't let me be, but let me be me, so let me see. They tried to shut me down on MTV, but if feel so empty without me so come on dip come on you let fuck that come on you tits so this shit's about to get heavy i'll just settle my lawsuits fuck you debbie now this looks like a job for me so everybody just follow me because we need a little controversy because it feels so empty without me i said this looks like a job for me so everybody just follow me because we need a little controversy because it feels so empty without me Little hellions, kids feeling rebellious, Impair, embarrassed. The little, I'm just tongue tied. Okay. It might be the done. Yeah, Let me try, let me try one more time. Need more weed yeah, it might be. Might be done time. Okay. Little hellions, kids feeling rebellious, embarrassed. The parents still listen to Elvis. They start feeling like prisoners, helpless. Till someone comes along on a mission and yells, "Bitch!" A vision, vision is scary. Can start a revolution, polluting the airwaves. So, so let. So let me, uh, that's the part I forgot. So let me, let me revel in bass the fact that I got everyone kissing my ass. A disaster. Such a catastrophe. For do you see so damn much of my ass you asked for me? Well, I'm back. Na, 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 na. Fix your bent antenna and tune. I'm going to enter under your skin like a splinter. Center of attention. 
Back for the winter, I'm interesting. The best thing since wrestling. Investing in your kids' ears and nesting. Testing. Attention, please. Feel attention. Soon as someone, someone mentions me, here's my 10 cents. Well, dude, cents is free. A new sense. Who sent you? Sent for me. Now this looks like a job for me. So everybody, just follow me. Because we need a little controversy. Because it feels so empty without me. I said this looks like a job for me. So everybody, just follow me. Because we need a little controversy. Because it feels so empty without me. A disket, a disket, I go tit for tat with anybody who talking this shit, that shit, Chris Kirkpatrick, you could get your ass kicked worse than the little limp biscuit bastards of Moby, you could get stomped by Obi, you 36 year old bald fag, blow me, you don't know, you too old, let's go, it's over, nobody listens to techno, let's go, just give me the signal, I'll be there with the whole list full of new insults, I've been dope, suspense with a, with a pencil, ever since Prince turned himself into a symbol, sometimes it just seems everybody only wants to discuss me so it's just me and I'm disgusting or it's just me I'm just obscene though I'm not the first king of controversy I am the worst thing since Elvis Presley to do black music so selfishly use it to get myself wealthy hey here's a concept that works 20 million other white rappers emerge but no matter how many fish in the sea it'd be so empty without me I said this looks like a job for me so everybody just follow me cause we need a little controversy cause it feels so empty without me I said this looks like a job for me so everybody just follow me cause we need a little controversy cause it feels so empty without me na, 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 na. so now we're going in this is Jedi Richard's closet in here so this is um, the closet that has the rest of the supplies for the studio and Jedi Richard's clothes and shoes now when we go to Panama uh, we'll probably have way smaller space and now this might be small to most people a lot of people uh, live in huge places oh. now like huge homes yeah so we I mean apartment living is even small to some people now in other countries this is huge that's the point but Americans often live in very large places so I put the um, vacuum cleaner in here so the story about this vacuum cleaner is we bought two vacuum cleaners um, prior to this this is our third since we've been together uh, and you know we bought other ones, but that was the third. So we were to get so they were we bought two sharks. So um, when we were, got back from the cave, I needed a when we got back from the cave, I needed a vacuum, and it was like okay, we can't spend a lot of money. So we found this on Amazon for fifty dollars. Amazon, I thought that we got this. Amazon. Amazon. Yep. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars on Amazon. This is when I wasn't even ordering on Amazon yet. You told me, "Oh, Amazon," because I made you go to Walmart to look for them, and you kept telling me Amazon. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I think on the bottom I've only cleaned it once, and then it has one of these bagless things, which is nice. I'm gonna vacuum up. I also need to put away these in a minute. Um, I actually like doing this stuff. People would say, "Oh my gosh, how come he has her do that?" and he doesn't do anything, but I, for one thing, don't want him to do I don't let him. No, I would not want that. I'd be very upset. I actually like doing this kind of stuff. And also, I, I, I feel like I'm a little bit of a control freak, so... Oh, we kept the cave clean, too, and I always took the trash down the hill. Uh, every time we left the cave, I would take our trash. Other people left it up there because when the guy lived up there, he just left the trash up there because it was such a big area. I would take it down to the gas station. <laughs> And then I'll show you this one. Um, so that was just so quick where, you know, if I had a huge place, I'd still be vacuuming. I don't know why people want such huge place. I mean, if you have a bunch of kids, but unless you have a bunch of kids, and like really you should only have rooms for how many people, and maybe even less than the number of people, depending on kids, kids can share rooms. Let's say you have two kids. I think you should have a, 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 a at the most, uh, a four bedroom. Okay, what if you have four kids? Still, I would say a four bedroom, you know what I mean? Because it's like, it's like there comes, like, when you have a certain amount of kids, that means they're sharing a room. It doesn't mean everyone gets their own room. If you have 10 kids, does that mean you have 10 bedrooms in your room? We always had two bedrooms. 
with um, four people, four, two adults, two kids, two bedrooms, so that means the two girls in one bedroom and so then the adults in a bed. They have like five kids in some of these places, uh, not five, one people have two or three kids in in a one bedroom. Yeah, they have it, no, no, that, the next door, this is a two bedroom, same. You know, that family that used to live in the single suites, that now lives here? Oh yeah. They have two kids and they have two children, um, but they live in a one bedroom. So it's four people, so it's two adults, two children in a one bedroom. They, so I don't even know what they do if the kids sleep on the couch or what. They did the same thing at the single suites, they always have the one bedroom. I'm gonna put my vacuum away. Back into the studio closet here. Jarrett's yeah, little man cave. Hat, sunglasses, and headband uh, area, so, basically. Huh. So, so is there. he a big Raider fan? Well, we did the whole uh, Raider of a theme song, but no one liked it here in Las Vegas. Yeah, and we got these cool hats. Some of them were given to us. Some of them we bought. Um, some of them were gifts. We got the Kansas City one as a gift. Um, and then one of these Raider ones is a gift. And then these we got, we ordered for our Jeverus.com. But they did some of them wrong, so that's why we ended up with so many. <laughs> um, and then Jeverus got his sunglasses here. These are for our color lights. Maybe we'll bring some of those fun Who's color. That? This is a Finn on Star Wars and a little car. Oh, cool, real cool. Yep. This is our wonderful studio, which we're going to really miss here. Yeah, so, uh, we got Yod sits over here in his Jaguar. Mm. This was our Jaguar here, and it was Yod's. Yeah, so I always, I don't like, I always like the bed to be nice to ever, so you've always been laying on it. As it gets hotter, I guess, overall, we have to bring the temperatures down. But at first, like, putting on 78 was cold in here. But as it gets hotter in the summer, we have to bring down the, temp the inside temperature in here as the outside temperature goes up, huh? So. This morning I was gonna get to a particular from Walmart, but I couldn't scan, the thing wasn't working. They only had one box left, and it was taped as if it broke. I, went, I was like, oh, it must have broke up someone else, because the other day it broke on me. Uh, I had a Walmart, I had a Topo Chico box break at Walmart, and I dropped like 12 bottles, I felt so bad. Luckily the girl was right there, one of the, um, Place to show just grab another one, but I saw this box was taped. Yeah. So I think they broke again on someone. Yeah. Um, but then it, they would covered the barcode on accident, and so when I went to scan it, I couldn't scan it, and I was like, oh man, I didn't want them to see the beef I was getting because they might not let me buy it. So um, I didn't get it to say, so I ordered this from Amazon Fresh. But um, I the thing that's annoying is they're often wrong. With not Amazon Fresh as much. The problem with Amazon Fresh is if you order beef, it doesn't come in a state that's um, edible. It obviously sits out too long, but they always have their order right. It's just sometimes the state, the condition it comes in is not edible because they don't do a good job um, of putting things like meats and frozen. Like this is, this in here is cold. This is a, a, a um, what do you call it? A green, and they just put this in a bag. So when it's like 120 degrees, I've had this come arrive rotten before. Like it was, it was hot and it smelled rotten because it's not their fault, but just, you know, when they're driving around in their car. Traffic. And traffic and stuff. And well, also it's a two hour delivery window. When it's 120 degrees or it's not always 120, but you know, close to that, then in a two hour delivery window, they have it in their car for too long. This is what I got. Organic garlic, organic collard greens, organic kale, as you can see, cow organic. Uh, this is the collard, the kale, and Topo Chico. That is our order. That's my whole order there. But with Whole Foods, what Jerry was just talking about is it is a nightmare. So this was an Amazon Fresh order. So if you guys are unaware, Amazon bought Whole Foods. But there are three different ways you can order things on Amazon. There's Amazon Whole Foods, which you can order. All of them can be done from the regular Amazon app, or there's a Prime Now app. So there's a Prime Now app that you can order Whole Foods there, but now you can also order Whole Foods on the regular Amazon app, which didn't used to be that way. They just updated with the COVID. But so there's three things. There's Amazon, which is just your regular stuff that is all of Amazon, okay? So if you were to order anything, let's say 
I ordered a bong. I would order from Amazon, right? Amazon Fresh is groceries, which is a new thing. That is, it can come that day. It can come within an hour sometimes. Then there's Whole Foods, which is also the same thing. It's groceries, which can come within an hour or two. But they're two different things, but it's all under this Amazon window, but it's all different companies and everyone does it different. And Whole Foods, the reason why that one doesn't work as well is because a shopper has to go get your stuff. So what happens is the shopper drops the ball and grabs the wrong item because we get organics and they don't know the difference, they grab conventional. Amazon Fresh, that can occur because it's an inventory thing of like a system where it's like they know what they're grabbing. You know, it's not someone, they're not relying on, hey, go figure out what, you know what I mean? It's literally coming off a shelf or however they do it there. Also, when you order it, it's already now gone, like you bought it. Whereas when you order with Whole Foods, it might be available when you ordered it, but now the shopper has to go shop. So by the time they go to shop, the thing can be gone. So then you can often, we've had a delivery of like this. One time we had a delivery of one of these, which is 98 cents. And another time we had a delivery of like one Tobo Chico. Because everything else from the time that I had ordered to when the shopper went was out of inventory. And then they'll still deliver your one item. And you can't stop it. Like, you can't be like, oh, don't worry about that now. I wish you could. I wish you could say, hey, since this is it, can you just cancel? But you can't. It actually, after a certain point, you can cancel only to a certain point. Then you have to call customer service. And then they sometimes won't even let you cancel the day. They call. They're like, I was trying to find out where my order was. But they weren't going to let me cancel. And I was like, well, my order didn't arrive. So what do I do? Because I was calling because my order didn't arrive. Like, well, we can't cancel. I was like, well, you can't cancel. And I can't cancel it, but I have no order. So what are we doing here? Yeah. What are we? And they said, well, it should arrive. But call back later. It'll come in a couple hours. They finally did. But I'm like, all right. <laughs> but um, so there's a lot of mystery. A lot of. It's an amazing service, but it's just uh, when you use it every day, you'll find that it can be a nightmare too. Well, they've got. They've got a few little flying kinks to work out. But saying. it's an amazing service. So I'm gonna start putting these in the fridge. Okay. Um, to keep them cool, we. Uh, I did probably more than but this is why when Joe was just season one, I had got the drawer in the drawers sometimes because I run out of room. And, oh, but what they did here was, well, actually they didn't do nothing. <laughs> I tell them what we did. When they moved us to this place, because we were in another unit, two units down, they said, you got to move. I said, okay. What we decided to do was, check it out. They put the, uh, Judge, I want to change the refrigerator. So we brought our other refrigerator over and she put the refrigerator from that unit, which was on the other side here. But that unit was built the other opposite direction. So see the door, it opens, you, it, they kind of, it's, like a, it's like a man trap in order to get in and out and of it the- It actually is a workout because you have to squat. It's a, yeah, it's a total workout down there. Because you have to squat, I'm always in a squat position. Normally I bring that whole thing over here too, but um, I didn't because first certificate in the morning. The thing is, you have to be here when the orders come in. So otherwise it rots. Yeah, otherwise it's outside. So it's like I'm like since we're gonna be running around all day tomorrow, I got everything that we need for tomorrow. So I don't have to order tomorrow at all. Great thing in. Yeah. All right, we'll check in later. Saturday, July twenty fifth, twenty twenty, sixteen hundred hours, twenty minutes, four twenty. Go ahead, tag and scan this location. Thanks again, me and Jerry Rich and everyone watching and everyone um, that is just enjoying 420 right now. Join the week, clear one for everyone, and we're never successful anyway. All right, hey everyone, Jojo Joe here. So we are heading, we have to get the bus to go get our passport photos. We were gonna do it this morning, but it turned out to just be too hot and we got a little bit of a fight, which worked out because it was too hot to go. So we're gonna go to the Walgreens down by um, Planet Hollywood, because that one does passport photos, what it called. Um, they said the one closer does not. There was one um, like across from Park MGM. They don't do the passport photos. So we wanted to go down the strip since we're gonna be leaving. You know, there's not a ton of more times so we're gonna get to go to the strip. I mean, we'll probably go quite a few times, you know, um, in the next couple of months, but. I don't know how many times we'll document it like this, you know. 
Um, take a, a, a right there, Jairich. So um, we're going to go catch the bus. Uh, it's at 7.36, the bus stop. The bus comes, sorry. Uh, I think I just a bong. Yeah, it's still warm. What time, what? It's still 100 degrees, it says. This is our pool that we can't use. Oh, wait, yeah, closed for the season. It was actually the coolest pool, except for it was a little bit cold. Oh, Richard, did you remember a mask? I have one for you. I have one for you, don't worry. Okay, but do you want to go? Yeah, I'll run up and get it. Okay, I'll go get it. I'll go I'll go run up there if you want. I'll go run up there, actually. Why don't you say hi, and I'll go there. Okay, thanks. Do you mind? Okay, this is what usually happens. I forget something, Jedi Joy runs and gets it. So, day in the life. So, okay. Uh, day in the life. It's uh, Saturday, July 25th, 1900 hours and 14 minutes. Year is 2020. We're doing a video for Ridley Scott and Kevin McDonald. Got some sort of crowdsourcing uh, art project they're working on. And so, we are doing our contribution. Hey guys, so I went and got the mask, and so um, I let, I made sure we left <laughs> early because Jedi Rich always forgets something. <laughs> so I always am like, I always am like trying to get us out of the house earlier because uh, I always know that then. So this is the way to the bus stop. So the thing about um, Vegas, that's very different than Panama is um, it everything is very spread apart so we're gonna be going to Panama and everything is really close so that was so in Panama we walked everywhere but like things are like super close and so when we first got here we realized you need we thought you need a car right away and we got one um, when we first got here but then now we figured out how to do it without a car but I wouldn't say it's easy. It's a lot of walking. The buses take forever. So we even have to do two buses to get down to the strip. So we're on Las Vegas Boulevard, but we still have to take two buses to get to the strip. And we're not even that far. I mean, we're down here by South Point. But the buses are great in the sense of they're, they're nice, they're, um, they're clean, the drivers are friendly, but uh, they just take a long time because it's so spread out here. It just takes a long time to get around here. Unless you're flying around in a car speeding like most people do, but if you're following the rules, it, some of these lights here are insane in Vegas. We've sat at lights forever. Man, I've gotten so mad at the Uber drivers when they miss the light or something after we've sat through like 10 lights. You're like, what the hell? And they're not paying attention. I almost went off of one the other day, Jeverich. I didn't tell you. What happened? So, um, he, he went the wrong way, you know, as they do. But I was, this is the time when I had to get there before the guy had to leave for the flight. And it was just a nightmare. I'd had that Uber. I had an Uber. Okay, I waited 30 minutes for an Uber to show up. That canceled in front of my face. He went through, to the wrong entrance. So I said, oh, I'm over here at the center. I texted him. So then he comes over here, drives past me, and cancels. I'm like waving at him because you know you can see the car. And I didn't realize he had canceled. And then I look at my phone, and it's like, the driver canceled. I'm like, what the? So then I had to wait another 20 minutes for another driver to come. So I almost missed his client because he had to go to the airport and um, catch his flight. And then the guy went the wrong way. And then. Not him, it wasn't the Uber driver's fault, but the person in front of the Uber driver was not, go we waited at this light that I swear was a 10 or 15 minute long light on the strip, some of them. And then the person in front of the Uber driver would not go when the light went green. And I almost lost it, cause I was just like, I was so pent up. <laughs> I was so pent up cause I was gonna be late and not get the, that, 
when the person in front of the Uber driver didn't go, I'm like, would you fucking go? <laughs> like, I'm sorry, yelling at the Uber. And the, I'm like, oh, I'm sorry to the driver. Because I wasn't mad at the driver, I was mad at the person. Again, I was like, oh, are you fucking kidding me? I'm like yelling, at, I'm like, honk at that guy, honk at that guy. <laughs> it was a mess. Anyways, I, I made it. Okay, so the bus is across the street. So, Jerry Rich, we got room across the street here. So we'll first just run to the middle. We'll run just to the middle first, okay? Okay, you ready? Here we go. Just to the middle. Just to the middle. Just here. Cause there's a car coming. One more car, then we'll go. This guy's flying. Okay, let's go. Oh, car, come on. And um, technically that's illegal jaywalking, but they did not make this a place where there is crosswalks. They are so far. So the cops, I've literally jaywalked in front of cops here because I don't think they bother. It's ridiculous. They can't expect you to walk all the way to the other spot. The crosswalks are all the way that way, like a whole block that way, and a whole block that way when you want your bus stop right here. There's no way. Explain how far a block is there here. A block out here is freaking huge. I mean, it's like, I don't know. <laughs> how far is it, Jared? What would you say? A mile, maybe? No, he ain't miles. <laughs> he ain't miles. <laughs> but it's pretty far. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> but it's far. And there's no way. So I've actually ran in front of cops here because I try to make sure there's a cop, but I've done it before. But I think they don't bother because everyone does. Because for one thing, this is uh, where people live here at these suites. And everyone takes this bus on both directions. So people cross. And there's a liquor store across the street. So people staying here go to the liquor store and go to the bus. So it's just constant jaywalkers here. They need a crosswalk right here. I don't know why there's one right here. Look, right there. Why isn't there where they have these cars that go across, a crosswalk. Right there. That would help a lot. They cannot expect people to walk all the way to that light over there, or all the way to that light over there. Those are the only crosswalks. You know the one all the way over there, or all the way over there? Really? All the way over there, they see the light. The, the street light, the red street light. They want me to walk there. That's where the crosswalk is. Or the one over there that's green. That one with the green one. Those are the only crosswalks over here. So they want me to walk all the way over there to then come all the way back to the bus stop. That ain't gonna happen. No one's gonna do that. So what happens is you have constant jaywalkers and even the cops don't bother here, but I don't know why they don't just put a crosswalk. That would help. I see the old people flying in their um, in their little walkers. That's the funniest thing. There's this old couple that comes. They got their little their little a uh, wheelchair hover out. They go flying across here, jaywalking in their uh, wheelchairs. They're uh, they jaywalking in their wheelchairs, but they go across the street. I'm like, man, you gotta have balls crossing the street in your wheelchair because you're kind of a sitting duck if it, something happens because these are those electronic ones if they don't go like they get stuck in the middle of the street as cars are flying around them I'm like man <laughs> that's very trusting <laughs> a little bit of those things it cracks me up so here's our bus stop right so here so here's our bus stop how often does this bus come? Uh, I think every 30 minutes every 30 minutes yeah 30 minutes so, yeah, 30, because it was at 7.01, and then... Yeah, so if you had to work somewhere, you missed your bus. That's the problem. You'd be really late. Yeah, the thing, that's what I was saying. The bus is not the most efficient. Uh, oh, hey, what does that say? We, uh, they, that bar says something about Syslec. So, so further note, knows. something about Syslec. I want to see. Due to Syslec, we are closed. Until they said due to Sisolak, we are like people are getting pissed 
Like they didn't say like the governor or anything. That's that was another one. They that, didn't like, say, oh, sorry. It's a no, it was just due to Sislek. They hate Sislek. That? that is the um, Putters, Putters Bar and Grill. It says due to Sislek, we are closed until further notice. That's terrible. That's crazy. Um, pretty soon we'll have to put our masks on. Let's okay, let's put it. our masks on. Let's get that okay. on here. Let's okay. get that ready. So yeah, so we're just documenting a day in the life of a Jedi here. It's very similar. I don't usually come with Jedi Joy when she goes on the bus. I have before. But it's like, man, she walks so fast and then... Yeah, I actually like go back And then she down. says that when I come along, I basically, I'm the, I'm the weak link in the chain. I, I slow everything down. Oh, we teach forever. But it's more just because he enjoys the the art and scenery along the way and I just kind of go and get things done. Well, actually, I, I can't keep up with her, is the honest truth. I, I can't yeah, walk that but, fast. But, but you also are more about enjoying the scenery. And yeah, stuff. I do that too, but you know, you I You can know. wait a second if 